In this lesson, we're going to talk about synthetic division, which is just a quick and easy way to divide a polynomial by something that looks like x minus c, where c is any number. So we're going to be dividing by a binomial, and notice that there cannot be a coefficient in front of the x, and there cannot be an exponent on the x. It just has to be two terms, a plain x, and another number. And c can be any number at all. So for example, let's look at x to the third plus 4x squared minus 5x plus 5 divided by x minus 3. And we're going to look at long division first. So in this process, we put the polynomial under the division symbol and we put the binomial outside. And if you've not been through this before, we're not going to actually be using this process. I just wanted you to see what we're avoiding. So you make a guess as to what, how many times will x go into x to the third. And that's x squared. We multiply back, change signs, and add. And then we pull down, and we make another guess. How many times will x go into 7x squared? And that's going to be 7x. Multiply back, change signs, and add, and pull down, and make another guess. How many times will x go into 16x? That'll be 16. And multiply back, change signs, and add, and the remainder is 53 here. And so we make a, a mixed term, a 53 over x minus 3, a fraction. And that is our quotient. But if you're only dividing by something with no coefficient in front or one coefficient and no exponent, then you can get away with what's called synthetic division. And you know synthetic means fake. So this is not going to look or feel like division, but it does the same job. And I'll explain it in more detail on the next slide. But basically what we do is we copy down all the coefficients and we put the solution to x minus 3 equals 0 here in the box. So if x minus 3 is 0, x is 3, that goes in the box. Now, we pull down the first number. Then we're going to multiply 3 times 1, put that answer here. And then we're going to add 4 plus 3 is 7. And then we're going to multiply 3 times 7 is 21, put that here. Then we're going to add, then multiply, then add. And notice that here are all the coefficients of our answer. So this is the answer. You just have to know how to read it. And so this turns out, if you start with uh, x to the third in your divisor, then the first term in your quotient is going to be x to the second. It's always one less than what you started with. And so there's, there's the answer. And this is a much cleaner, simpler process when you can use it. So now let's look on the next slide at exactly how to use it. I'm going to give you step by step. And at the same time, we're going to work this example here so you can see each step. So the first thing you do is copy the coefficients of the divisor. There they are. And the next thing you're going to do is put a box to the left of the coefficients. There's our box. And what goes in the box is the solution to x plus 5 equals 0. Basically, you can always take whatever this number is and use its opposite. So we're dividing by uh, x plus 5 here, and that means that c is negative 5 because that's the solution to the little equation here but remember we're not dividing by negative 5 we're dividing by x minus c and that becomes important later okay for the next step you're gonna draw a line and leave a, a row of numbers see I left a space here where I can write some numbers and we're gonna have numbers on this row as well so you pull down the first coefficient, 
then you're going to multiply this number times what you pulled down. So negative 5 times 3, and that answer goes here. And then you're going to add 7 plus negative 15. is going to be negative 8. After you add, do negative 5 times negative 8 is 40, and then add negative 20, or yeah, negative 20 plus 40 is positive 20. So it's basically multiply, put the answer here, and add. Multiply, put the answer here, and add. And you do that until the end. And here's our answer. And remember, we said that if you start with x squared in your divisor, then your quotient is going to be one less power than that, so that's going to be x. So we get 3x minus 8, and this number at the end will always be your remainder. And we always put the remainder over what we divided by. So 20 is the remainder, and we divided by x plus 5, so that becomes the little fraction. And you can see that x plus 5 does not go evenly into uh, 3x squared plus 7x minus 20. So we can say that x plus 5 is not a factor of 3x squared plus 7x minus 20. All right, so remember that this is going to be one less power than the divisor. And this is your remainder, and it goes over whatever you divided by. And here's one more example. Now notice this time we have a term missing. It goes from x to the third to x, and we don't have an x squared term. Now when we set up our coefficients, we'll, we will need to somehow account for that missing x squared term. And the easiest thing to do is just to stick a zero where the x term x squared coefficient should go. So here are our coefficients. 1x to the third, 0x squared because x squared is missing, negative 7, and negative 6. And in the box, we're dividing by x plus 2, so the solution to x plus 2 equals 0 is negative 2. That goes in the box. Now we draw our line, and we pull down the 1. We always pull down the first term. Okay, so now we multiply. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. That will go here. And then we add. 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. And then we multiply. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. That will go here. And then we add. Negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. And then we multiply. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. And then we add. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. And so we can see that we have 0 for a remainder. That means that x plus 2 went evenly into the trinomial we started with. And so the answer to this division problem is going to be x squared minus 2x minus 3. And let's look at one more. We are going to divide 5x to the third plus 6x plus 8 divided by x plus 2. So remember, we have to learn to leave a space where we have missing terms. And again, I have no x squared term. So when I copy down the coefficients, I need to leave a 0 where the x squared coefficient should go. In the box, we will have negative 2. And we leave a space, draw a line, pull down the 5. Now negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. That will go here. Now we add. 0 plus negative 10 is negative 10. Now we multiply. Negative 2 times negative 10, that will go here. Now we add. 6 plus 20 is 26. Now we multiply. Negative 2 times 26 is negative 
52. That will go here. And now we add 8 plus negative 52 is negative 44. And so we read off our coefficients to make our answer. And we know that we started with x to the third. So our first term here is going to be an x squared term. And the solution is, or the quotient is, 5x squared minus 10x plus 26 minus 44 over x plus 2. That is all there is to synthetic division.